Hello. The book that we are going to talk about today is Viktor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning. This is a book that was written by uh, a psychiatrist who was a common prisoner in the Nazi camps. He talks about his own experiences. He talks about the observations that he made uh, as he observed his fellow uh, prisoners. He then came out and he devised a therapy known as logotherapy, which basically implies that one has to find meaning in everything in life, even in suffering. So without further ado, let's talk about what happens to him when he reaches the prison. In psychiatry, there is a certain condition known as delusion of reprieve. The condemned man immediately before his execution gets the illusion that he might be reprieved at the very last minute. So all the prisoners are very hopeful. They think that if they behave well, they might be given their things back or that they will not be sent to the gas chambers. Slowly, apathy comes in. The blunting of emotions and the feeling that one could not care anymore were the symptoms arising next. They immediately made him insensitive to daily and hourly beatings. By means of this insensibility, the prisoner soon surrounded himself with a very necessary protective shell. So this shell basically prevented him from reacting or breaking down while he saw all the immunement things happening around him. Slowly, the majority of the prisoners suffered from a kind of inferiority complex. We had all, we had all once been someone or we had fancied ourselves as somebody but now you were treated like complete non-entities. So uh, this breaking down of bonds, they do not know who they are. They are just a number on the sleeve. They are just another uniform. They are just another laborer. This basically crushed them. Despite this, they were able to find humor. They were able to find uh, laughter, art, a movement of silence in the camps from time to time, whenever situations were good. He says that the prisoner who had lost faith in the future, his future was doomed. With a loss of belief in the future, he also lost his spiritual hold. He let himself decline and became subject to mental and physical decay. One has to accept his suffering as his task, his unique and single task. He has to acknowledge the fact that even in suffering, he is unique and alone in the universe. No one can relieve him of his sufferings or suffer in his place. His unique opportunity lies in the way he bears his burden. So the writer says that when you realize that these sufferings are basically your burden and you find meaning in them, you think that yes, through these sufferings, I will learn something or that I alone have been chosen just to suffer like this. You slowly start overcoming this inner resistance, this uh, capability of one to understand intellectually and emotionally this is what separates people from other people then once the writer was released he says that psychologically what was happening to me was what could be called depersonalization everything appeared unreal unlikely as in a dream once the prisoner came out he did not know what to do because suddenly everything was very new to him things that he had left behind a family uh, a farm a house nothing was the same anymore so based on these things based on these observations he came up with a form of therapy which says that you don't have to look into the past otherwise most uh, psychotherapeutic uh, approaches were looking into your past and inside you here he says that you have to look around yourself you have to find meaning in the work that you are doing or you have to find meaning through love because when you love somebody you actually find that person worthy. If nothing else works, you have to find meaning in your suffering.